Today we're going to be talking about cervical polypectomy. The definition of cervical polyp, they can be single or multiple and usually arise from the endocervical canal. They are tear-shaped or lobular structures and appear red, purple, or flesh-colored depending upon the vascularity and congestion present. The size is typically less than three centimeters in diameter and they are characterized by vascular connective tissue stroma covered by epithelium, which may be columnar, squamous, or squamocolumnar. The etiology is unknown, and they commonly occur during the reproductive years, especially after the age of 40. Chronic inflammation of the cervical canal may play a role, as may hormonal factors. Indication for removal. Polyps should be removed when symptomatic, such as bleeding, or excessive discharge, if they're large, greater than or equal to 3 centimeters, or appear atypical. Procedure. Polypectomy can usually be accomplished by grasping the base of the polyp with forceps and twisting it off. If visible, the base can be cauterized to prevent bleeding and reduce the chance of recurrence. If the base is wide, such as in the case of a sessile polyp, the main portion of the polyp should be removed with a biopsy forcep and the base destroyed with cautery or laser to reduce the likelihood of recurrence. Malignancy is rarely found in a cervical polyp. However, polyps which are removed should be submitted to the laboratory for histological study.